your spirit boost. We post a new spirit boost on the Easel channel every Sunday at 10 a.m. So make sure you subscribe to get notified when we publish the video. Today we're going to be talking about neuroplasticity and we're going to be doing some neuroplasticity practices. So let's talk a little bit about what neuroplasticity is. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability or your brain's ability to change its neural pathways throughout life. So it's kind of like going against some of our instincts that things that happen to us when we're kids or when we're younger, it's like we're stuck with that way of thinking, we're stuck with that level of mental health and who you are is who you are, you can't change it. And that's basically not true. Um, essentially with a little bit of conscious effort, you can change your neural pathways so that you can create better situations for yourself as far as your mental health and your relationships and your just kind of perspective on the world goes. So there are a lot of different methods and exercises out there that can help you start changing your neural pathways. And most of these were developed by very smart people, PhDs, specializing in neuroscience and neuroplasticity and science of happiness at universities like UC Berkeley and University of Chicago. So I put together a list of exercises and you can find the link to the PDF guide in the description down below, but for now we're just going to look at one of them together and it's called Three Good Things. The benefits of the Three Good Things exercise was studied by Seligman and Steen. And you'll see Seligman's name come up a lot if you are curious and want to study further on these topics. He's responsible for a lot of the research um, that's been done on positive psychology and neuroplasticity. So in Seligman's research, participants were split into different groups and performed different exercises that were hypothesized to increase happiness levels. And the three good things exercise is just one of them. If you're curious about the other exercises that were performed, you can find a link to the study in the description below. The important thing to know about the results of the three good things exercise is that participants reported higher levels of happiness and decreased levels of depression at both the one month follow up and the three month follow up. To try the three good things exercise, you're going to keep a journal for one to two weeks and every night you're going to write about three good things that happened to you that day. Make sure you write it down because it's a big part of the exercise. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy or large scale. It could be as simple as a coworker got you a cup of coffee that day or you managed to grab a healthy lunch. What this exercise does is it makes you focus on the little positive things that happen to you on a day-to-day -day basis. And it kind of helps you appreciate the good things in life and maybe make you realize that you're taking some things for granted. After your one to two week experiment, if you found that it helped you out and made you feel better throughout your week, you can start to integrate it into a regular schedule. I would recommend scheduling this exercise for Sundays and increase it to five good things that happened to you the previous week. It's a great way to go into your next week feeling energized and positive. Eventually you might find that this way of thinking has become habit and you don't even have to do the exercise anymore. Remember that you can find more neuroplasticity practices in the link in the description down below, and I'll see you for next week's Spirit Boost.